areas. And I know that's part of your plan, but would you care to comment? Well, I mean, you are eloquent in your thinking, and I totally agree. Um, you've heard the old comment, one plus one equals three. Well, I would tell you that however committed and however strong we view National Western, and yet its frailties in the future, we will become a much stronger institutional focus through making critical connections and relationships and partnerships with other institutions. And I think whether it be History Colorado, whether it be Denver Art Museum, whether it be Denver Public Schools, all of those have cultural, educational, iconic opportunities that can help elevate and continue to elevate this great metropolitan area. So I don't have a lot to add. I think you spoke to it beautifully. Yes, sir. There's some information from which one could glean you have not maintained this facility in a manner in which you may have been obligated to do so. And assuming that there's some truth to that, uh, is there any indication that you can fund maintenance of a bigger and more expensive facility? Well, first of all, <laughs> I'm gonna challenge that assumption. I don't agree with it at all. I don't agree with the auditors making public statement to that effect. I've told him so. He made those allegations of our being in breach without understanding facts. So I don't accept that. Number one, number two. This facility as it now exists is some 600,000 net rentable square feet. 10 years, 12 years, 13 years ago, we were seventh in the country in terms of size and square footage. Every year, certainly during my tenure, and I know Paul Andrews is committed to doing what we need to do within our available resources. National Western, and I've sat down and met with members of Denver City Council. They made, the city has made some allegations that are just strikingly not correct. We've opened our books. We've showed them our cash flow. What we cannot do is figure out how to fund improvements, not expenses and maintenance, improvements, capital improvements from our cash flow stream. Now, if you or others here are accounting and have financial expertise, there's a big difference between expenses and capital investment, capital improvement. We are a nonprofit. People will say, well, my God, you've got 600,000 people coming in. You must be awash in cash. Absolutely not. Everything we make, we reinvest in this facility and in these buildings. But when you've got a Coliseum that is owned, operated, and managed by the city, not us, and we pay them seat tax, that's 60 years old. We've got a stadium arena that is 105 years old. This exposition hall is 41 years old. We've got yards that we're trying to rebuild, and we do to the extent we can fund and have cash flow that are more than, in some instances, 67 years old. So, from our available cash resources, I believe we have done a good job. In fact, I was talking to the treasurer of the Western Stock Show Association last night, and he said, I would defy anybody who wants to sit down 
and learn and understand the facts that we have not done a good job trying to maintain what we have. Now, to your second point, you do bring up a very legitimate question. How can we create a new vision under our existing cash flow? There has got to be a new contractual relationship between us and Denver, or if Denver chooses not, and I don't think that's their wish, another or institution, another city, where there is more clarity on what the cash flow obligations are of National Western. If we continue under the current program, we will not be around in the next eight to 10 years to 15 years. I'd open our bucks to anybody. They've been subject to CPA audit for the last 30 years. But it's a valid question. How do we fund a year-round facility? That's part of our plan. Other questions, and I'm afraid I'm running out of time.